Oh, I'm Wesley Thomas. Wesley Ray Thomas. One of my earliest memories is from when I was about two and a half years old. Our family went to a powwow, and as we were watching the dancers, my mom let me know that we were also Indian. I went to powwows in Minneapolis. I stayed on the sidelines being fair-skinned and mixed blood. I found my own voice in church and school, choir and uh, doing solos. First time I remember singing a solo was in first grade. When I was 13, my AP English class went to go see Bizet's opera, Carmen. And I really wanted to be the Toreador. I fell in love with opera that day. Enough for me to leave home and head east with a scholarship for the Boston Conservatory. I started busking here in Harvard Square the summer of 1990. That was after my first year of, uh, at the conservatory. Um, and I used to do that after I would, I would draw portraits for a few hours and then at 11 o'clock when the other street musicians would stop because that was curfew and you couldn't have any amplified sound, I could usually sing from 11 to 12 and uh, you know I would be able to get a little extra money and and have fun kind of bringing opera and art song to the public. Pick some out so they don't think I'm getting rich. <laughs> Uncle Lincoln uh, worked at uh, Shilako Indian School as uh, he taught printmaking and photography. He was really the person that kind of kept the Indianness alive in our family. Um, you know, he, he spent most of his life around um, Indians and um, he taught us things that we didn't know. I remember one time we went fishing at his pond out on, he had a little, uh, little farm with some cows and some wheat and uh, when it got towards sundown, the coyotes came out. And we sang with the coyotes. You know, I could get them to come in closer by, uh, by imitating them. And he was real surprised I could get my voice up that high. <laughs> Being away from home was hard. It was hard to be away from my family. Back in Minnesota, I had close friends that were mixed, like myself. But here, I didn't really have any Native friends. In school that last year, I was getting ahead in opera, but I was also becoming unhealthy. I was depressed a lot, and I had started drinking pretty regularly again for the first time in several years. And then my Uncle Lincoln died suddenly, and that really rocked me to the core. I really needed to talk to other Indians, so I looked up in the phone book um, the North American Indian Center of Boston. I met my friend Kenneth. Kenneth taught me his honor song and invited me to sing with the drum at powwows. Singing 
Native uh, traditional music and singing opera are two very different experiences. I'm a reasonably successful opera singer. I've sung at the Schubert Theater with the Boston Lyric Opera. I recently sang Ford in Falstaff with the Michi Opera in Philadelphia. And I'm looking forward to my first Iago in Otello with Lowell House Opera. Opera is a passion for me, but my traditional native singing goes beyond that. It feeds my spirit. <laughs> 